Hello, everyone. With today's insanity, with MTG 30th anniversary product and the, the flashy era, I want to discuss how it has changed my outlook and approach to Magic the Gathering. Let's discuss. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubblegum. All right, everyone, welcome back. How are you today? Remember to like and sub. I am here every day at 8.30 in the morning Eastern time. So remember to hit that bell or maybe not. Or I guess the bell helps, but you know, I'll be here at 8.30. So that's, <laughs> that's what's going on. <laughs> so let's talk about how I have changed in the past five or 10 years involving magic, especially with the introduction of collector's edition uh, you know a million reprints of everything and all types of flashy flashy common poop pringles i don't know like this era of madness that we're in ever since they even really ever since they upped the the foil amount in the boxes right so let's talk about how my attitude has shifted. I used to collect, whenever a set would come out, like Battle for Zendikar and Oath of the Gatewatch, I went after the expeditions, right? When War of the Spark came out, I went after the anime Planeswalkers foils, right? When other sets came out though in between like i would try to get the the top two or three cards and then like foil copies like really good condition i would always try to collect i guess that's the key word i would try to collect what i thought was cool from each set they introduced borderless foils in ultimate masters box toppers i liked it they kept it in El Drain. I liked it still because it was rare. Now, I don't care. Textured was cool in Double Masters 2. Gilded was cool in Capenna, but they overdid it, so I don't care. Neon, the cards suck, so I don't care. Numbered, okay, that's cool and all, but the artifacts are like the B-grade generation compared to, I guess, inventions or something, right? Imagine if the inventions are numbered to 500. Holy shit, talk about a freaking product that would sell. So all this is to say, like, I don't know. It's... It's like, for me now, what is there? I guess there's still the completionist thing where I, I like to have these blisters, right? There's just too many variants to care about. Maybe when they come out with newer stuff like I mean, I like to have a couple of sealed boxes of stuff like this because I think it's cool that there's Lost Legends in here. But really, what am I collecting? I went from collecting most things and a lot of the cool things to barely collecting it, right? And yeah, I do buy and sell the whole time. But that's not the subject here. So how has my attitude towards this shifted? Instead of opening and ripping every set for the fun of it and to pull those few cards, now I'm being choosy and buying signals. Signals. Yes, buy them signals. I'm buying singles and just a few blisters. Maybe a box here and there to hold on to. But what I buy has shifted over time. And it's definitely focused on the older stuff now so much more away from the new stuff and what i sell has gotten nuanced to you know when i was still selling a lot it was more about the high-end old 
commons, you know, something, something strange and something different, a niche, a niche, a niche, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, this has been a little bit of an odd day today. How have I changed with magic over time? I think maybe we need to go back to what got us back into magic at this point because it's a tough time. And what got me back in was nostalgia. I started opening up old stuff. So maybe it's time to go back to the roots. Or maybe it's time to evolve again. We'll see. Times are odd right now. Let's see how they they change more in the future. I don't know. Whatever, guys. This has been a little woo out there episode. Remember to like and subscribe. Take care. Have a nice day. Patreon memberships. Peace. This, man. Game over, man. Game over. What are we going to do now? What are we going to do? Maybe we can build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? Why don't we try that?